Hi everyone, welcome aboard for another SANS ICS Security Brief. My name is Dean Parsons, Certified SANS Instructor for ICS 515 and 418. In today's Security Brief, we are going to be talking about the differences between controls in IT and in ICS. We're going to ask and answer that question, can we copy and paste IT security controls into the industrial control environment? So let's jump right in and compare eight different security controls side by side. Starting out with antivirus, in IT, the approach has really been signature-based, heuristics-based antivirus. Malicious activity or files are found and then quarantined or removed from the system. In the ICS, however, the approach is allow listing or alerting only, not necessarily finding malicious activity and outright deleting them from the system. This, of course, reduces the amount of false positives that can directly impact the control environment. Looking at the network perspective, firewalls specifically in IT, we have been segmenting users and servers in different environments in IT. In the ICS, however, the objective is really to segment away from the IT networks and also segment away from the internet. This segmentation also goes further down into the control environment, segmenting out different process or engineering zones, usually following the Purdue methodology. If we take a look at the vulnerability scanning approach in IT, it's been regular intervals, automated, and an active scanning methodology. In the ICS, however, there's more of a passive methodology. Active scanning, look for vulnerabilities, can be done, but it's usually more rigorous testing in the ICS environment and usually run during maintenance cycles. If we take a look at the human component, we take a look at security awareness. In IT, of course, it's the phishing scams and awareness there, using email, the safe usage of the internet, data protection, and so on. In ICS, though, it's great for those staff in the OT environment to have that knowledge, of course, from IT. But we adapt and we also tack on additional security awareness, such as ICS-specific security awareness, physical safety and security, and also the engineering aspect as well. Looking at event detection in IT, we're going to gravitate towards the Windows event logs, traditional endpoint protection, uh, Linux environment uh, logs as well, of course, and also URL inspection, email alerts, sandboxing, and so on and so forth. In ICS, though, we do look at Windows event logs or Linux event logs, which are OT assets for the industrial control environment. But beyond that, we have additional devices to consider. Logs from things like engineering devices in the field, so programmable logic controllers, RTUs, meters, protection control relays, and so on and so forth. Beyond that, having a device or a solution to look at the network from an ICS protocol aware perspective and having the ability to do baselining and anomaly detection there is also an approach for event detection in ICS. Now, when an incident happens in IT, it's really all about containment, patching the device, and of course, redeploying the device. In ICS, it's a different approach. Fighting through the attack is not uncommon. This, is, of course, is maintaining safety throughout an actual event, conducting quick triage of the threat to understand what's happening, try to quarantine it or contain the threat, but the eradication may come at a later date once the threat is contained. Again, fighting through that attack, prioritizing safety and reliability of operations and engineering. Patching, of course, in IT has been done for decades very, very well, and it's really refined, streamlined process that actually happens regularly, likely every month or every 30 days. And of course, in the ICS, it's much less frequent than that. There are legacy devices that may not be patchable. There are workarounds that may need to be deployed. And of course, we do see the frequency a lot lower than in IT. So it could be not 30 days like in IT, but it could be once a quarter. And this, of course, depends on the different kinds of environments that are out there and the different components that may be patchable or not. Looking at the network from an intrusion detection perspective and intrusion prevention perspective, in IT, of course, it's mostly about intrusion prevention, dropping network traffic that is flagged as suspicious or malicious inside IT networks. Inside the ICS, however, it's a different approach. We prioritize the intrusion detection system, which we do not drop traffic, reducing false positives. Again, that can have ramifications on the industrial process. We usually choose the alert only mode. And these systems, these IDSs inside the control systems usually have the ICS protocol aware capabilities. 
So there you have it for this Zans ICS security brief. Can IT security controls be copied and pasted inside the ICS? Not so much. An approach is to embrace the differences and adapt what we can from IT. And of course, where we cannot adapt them, have specific ICS security controls that prioritize the safety and reliability of operations. Well, there you have it. Again, my name is Dean Parsons, Certified SANS Instructor for ICS 515 and 418. Hopefully to see you in class soon.